you just move it around and it kind of like starts clearing all the different sections of it. So it's a 3D scanning application on your phone. True, let me show you how it so works. So it's like a photo. Everything you see here, I scanned with this okay. phone. For example, here is a shoe. You download the app, it's a free app. You go here and you print this piece of paper. You put the product that you want to scan on the paper. And there's an AR dome that guides you through the scanning process. So basically, it's like a, the, the, the AR dome that you're drawing on top of the square that you have here. You just move it around and it kind of like starts clearing all the different sections of the product that you're scanning, right? Exactly, and you and can once also you're rotate done, it. You rotate it just like a scanner. And it detects the position, I assume, of all the different elements in the, in the squares. It takes multiple pictures from all different angles. And does it, do the pro does it do the processing in the phone or is it in a server somewhere else? It's all on the phone. All on the no phone. No cloud, no internet required. It uses scans. And you can see one, two, three, and I have a 3D model. Even the colors are scanned. So, so you use, okay, so you can, you can stitch it. Exactly. And I have We're some tools to change and fix the appearance of the model here. Okay. I can now immediately export it to many different 3D formats for 3D printing, for AR, VR. And the best part, I can already bring it back to reality in AR and put it here on the table. And you start playing with it. And I actually can bring him back to life with some animation. Oh! So you can detect, oh, that's so cool. That's, that's really, really cool. That's so cool. Thank you. So you guys are already making some money with it, I assume. It's so impressive that I'm like... Yes, we are. So you guys are like looking for more capital, you're looking to expand. What is our your main goals? Strategic partners. Yeah, strategic partners. Because Clone is an app that showcases the 3D scanning technology, but it has many different use cases. Right. As I mentioned, e-commerce, the education space, AR, VR content creation. And what's, uh, how do I, how do developers can get a hold of this app to start playing around with it? Just download it from your website or? It's already in the App Store. Okay. In the Google Play Store, Apple's App Store, and we are on the way to a million downloads already. You're aware, of, you, of course, I can see that you, you can be very, very quickly going to a million downloads. <laughs> yeah, so we are, we're an incubator, as, as we said before as well, so we're excited to see other startups getting getting their, their results like you like this one this is pretty impressive Thank you. and then how long have you been doing this company for well the company has a history in the toy and game industry so we've been around for about 10 years but clone this new technology and app is something that we've been working on in the last three years excellent excellent to see that well I scanned one of my kids on a very large mat I uh, really yeah. can we see your kid I was kidding oh you had the kid oh my god of course <laughs> There you go. Oh, just in case. Oh, man, that's so cool. Thank you. This is, this is the, <laughs> this is, this is, uh, why has, why are you guys in CNN? Really? Why, why didn't they come on cover? Well, we were in BBC and okay. also Reuters and AP. But okay, now you're, you're in Tech Ed TV, so that's great. Thank Fantastic. you so much. So, and, and we want to work with you. I'm thinking I have so many ideas because we, uh, we were developing a, a device that one of the startups purchased a company. The company basically defrauded them and they didn't give them the, the files wow. or the, the sign. So we had to reverse engineer it. So one of the things our engineers do was to basically find a firewall scanner, which was very expensive, and then it has a very tedious process to scan the metal, and it didn't work. Mm. It created a huge file that was not able to manipulate. The only thing that you could do with the file was print it. That's it. But you couldn't manipulate it. So we decided to manually do it, get engineers, and basically rebuild everything, with, uh, measure it, and just build everything. And we were looking for a tool like this to be able to regenerate 
those pieces. So the question is how accurate it will be if we have, like, let's say, like uh, gears. How accurate it will be if we have some sort of like a, uh, like a screw. Uh, if it's a small object, you can print the mat on a smaller oh, okay. scale, okay. which allows you to come closer with the camera and get better resolution. So, so if, if you have a camera with like 48 megapixels, do one of those Huawei phones, then we have a better result than if we use a lower megapixel camera. Actually, we recommend using an iPhone. You're using an iPhone? Yeah. yeah. Because you use the three-dimensional... No, no, but the cameras there are very high quality and the app is much more advanced, six, seven months ahead of the Android version. Oh, okay, iOS. okay. All right, you heard that. So download the, the app uh, for uh, iPhone, not the Android one right now, because it's six phone behind. <laughs> All the ones with an iPhone, we don't care. <laughs> but everyone <laughs> with now an iPhone may be questioned. But thank you very much, Ronnie. Thank very, you, very Edwin. impressive. Yeah, you guys are pleasure. watching Tech Ed TV. Here, Ryan, say bye to the, to the crowd. He's also part of the team. And you you learn why to clone. You really, he really couldn't clone his son. He wasn't kidding about it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.